Is this frequency open? Is this frequency open? CQ, 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 WX0, MIK, Whiskey X-Ray 0, Mike India Kilo. CQ, 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 WX0, MIK. Hello and welcome to the next edition of the Mike Wills Podcast. This is the Dog Days of Podcasting edition for August 3rd, 2019. I am KE0VYC and my name is Mike Wills. This season we are covering amateur or ham radio. So next we're going to dive into section 3. And before I continue, just in case you didn't hear the previous couple, I am going through the ARRL a uh, hand radio license manual for technician. You can get that on Amazon, and I will have a link to it in the show notes for you. Um, again, I would highly suggest you get the um, the paper copy or the dead tree copy um, because you can highlight, you can make notes, and everything things that you may need. Um, so, with that, let is go into section three point one electricity. So a big thing with ham radio is you need to work with electron or they want to make sure you understand how to work with electronic circuits. That doesn't mean you necessarily have to, but there are some basic electrical stuff that you will probably need to do throughout your ham radio career, so to speak. So they're kind of planting the groundwork here for some real basic electronics most things, uh, as I was going through it, it re- from, reminded me of my high school electronics class. Um, so it should not be overly difficult for people who've worked any any amount of electronics. Or it's not that hard to learn. It's just a couple formulas, ultimately. Um, and a little bit of information. So um, let's first talk about the um, current and voltage. So current can be uh, considered like the flow of the electro- electrons. Uh, usually they use the uh, letter I in most of the fo- the formulas. Uh, for those who aren't as familiar, think of this as gallons per minute in uh, um, like a pipe. Um. So that is how how much electricity is flowing. Um, voltage is the electromotive force or electric potential, usually denoted as the letter E in most of the formulas. Think of that like the the psi or the pressure, um, like a you know like like say you had a little pump and they use that as a reference here. They a little pump and to push the water through. That would be the voltage. Uh, so you can have, and I'm just throwing random numbers out here, a 12 volt battery and it's pushing out 10 um, amps of current. Just kind of relate to that. There's also two different types of current. There's an alternating current, which would be like what comes out of your house at 110 volts or. If you're in other countries, it may vary, but I'll t- you know, maybe two, was it two twenty, two forty, 240, whatever it is. Um, and then you also have direct current, which is more like a battery that elect, uh, in alternating current, the, 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 um, electricity flows back and forth in a pulsing and it's usually at, um, 60 Hertz. So it's going back and forth 60 times per second. I think a second. It's late. Sorry. Um, in direct current, it the electricity is always flowing just one particular direction, and it's flowing from the positive to the negative. Um, the next thing they kind of go into is some real basic um, circuit type stuff, um, and that's kind of where I was talking about the the electronic and flow, and um, they talk about parallel circuits versus series circuits and just kind of what that means. 
Um, they also talk, um, they have a really nice graph in there that I was looking at um, about how to measure current voltage and what current voltage is. Um, then they also have a brief disc, um, part about how to use a multimeter and what you might use a multimeter for. Uh, the next section within there talks about resistance and Ohm's law. This is where the other math formula comes in that you need for, at the very least, your technician, if not your general license as well. Actually, kind of need for both. Um, <clears throat> so the um, they they describe what resistance is within the section. They go over the three different versions of Ohm's law, which is basically one formula, and then you flip, do some basic algebra to flip things around. So you can solve for I, you can say solve for E, or you can solve for R. Um, and then they go into several examples after that of how do, how, how do you use it. And if you look, many of these are actually test questions. So either A, you need to learn how to calculate it, or or B, you got to have pretty good memorization. Um, one other note on memorization, if you're going to memorize everything, do not memorize the letter of the answer. Memorize the actual answer. Because otherwise, you're going to have issues because they change the order of the questions. So it may be A in the book, and the answer might be D in the actual test. So states, you know, keep a watchful eye on that. So we're going to keep this one a shorter one, thankfully. And um, I would like to um, thank everyone for listening. Um, on my website, I'll have all the contact information. You can go find that at mike at or mikewills.me. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Mike Wills, Facebook, uh, Mike Wills, and email is Mike at Mike Wills on me. Um, until tomorrow, uh, 73, and this is KE0VYC. The frequency is clear. The frequency is clear. WX0MIK73.